summarized as the by the Abdhan pattern through which we can say the first rule is that E of alkane will be replaced by L for CHO and by ONE for ketone the first one number two numbering will be started from C of CHO for aldehyde and C just after carbonyl carbon towards longest chain for ketone So numbering will be started from the carbon of the CHO for aldehyde and C just after of the carbonyl carbon towards the longest chain for the ketone. Number three is that substituent prefixed according to the alphabetical order. number 3 and for the ring aldehyde we have to be put carbaldehyde after the for ring aldehyde carbaldehyde carbaldehyde is required after the name of the full name of the Cycloalkene is required after full name of cycloalkene and the fifth one is the numbering of the ring carbon starts from the carbon attached to the CHO and the fifth one is the numbering of ring carbon start <coughs> from the carbon attached to the CHO carbon attached to the CHO. So this is the system of the for the UPEC nomenclature. As there are grossly five different rules that can be easily depicted by the Abdhan learning pattern through which the this pentagon system we can identify or you can summarize that whole rules of the UPEC nomenclature for the aldehyde and the keto. So in that case the first one is the E of the alkene, the full name of the alkene after the name of the alkene the E that will be replaced by the L for CHO and by ONE for the ketone. 
numbering will be started from the carbon of the CHO for the aldehyde and the carbon just after the ketone, carbonyl carbon for the ketone towards the longest chain. The substitutes have to be fixed according to their alphabetical order. For the ring aldehyde, carbonyl aldehyde 